Um, first of all, we have condemned, and I still condemn FG on their measure for banning Twitter. It's a direct uh, encroachment to people's rights to freedom of information. Uh, it's a fundamental right, too, of people. I see that what happened on Twitter ban, in a, the incident that led to Twitter ban, in a, it just a rift between the person of the president and the management of Twitter. So, why, how come that uh, the presidency will extend its rifts between Twitter, it and Twitter, to average Nigerians who are using Twitter? So, it's a direct FG whole Nigerian's apology. The whole Nigerian apology. I understand their recent moves to domestic uh, for Twitter to come and uh, be domesticated in Nigeria before they could operate. I don't have any issues on that. Uh, Twitter is a corporate entity, it's owned by someone, and uh, in line with Nigerian law, before you operate in Nigeria, as a corporate entity, you must have to be domesticated in Nigeria and be registered as a Nigerian company. So. The fact that Twitter, Nigeria has asked Twitter to come and be domesticated and have its office in Nigeria before they cooperate is not an issue to me. No, so the decision of federal government, when they decide to ban it, I was not there. And if they are deciding to leave the ban now, uh, it's not my concern that one. In your own opinion, should it leave the ban? Yeah. In your own opinion, yeah. should it be banned? No, 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 no. If I tell you that one, I'm a liar. I don't know the offender, the offended federal government before they found them. And I don't know the agreement will go into it before the federal government will now let the ban. You understand? So that one is not my concern. Twitter is a part of uh, explains our villains what you cannot say to governments directly. Every government can see it through the uh, WhatsApp, everything should be better. Because when they banned it, it's a part of just crypto democracy. It's not good. But on late, I what government they are they are aimed to ban this thing before. It's left for them. But if you can want to check it, check in and out of it, you can they can still do it because they are governments. They can do it if they don't want any, you know, in the free, in the freedom of speech. You know, when your uh, freedom of speech, some people are misused the truth that you can post anything, they can post any wrong thing on the Twitter. But you cannot say because of some people are misused it, you ban it generally. So if they can, you can, you can raise the ban on it, it's better. But let them monitor it. If they're lifting Twitter ban, I think that's good for the social media users because uh, as a matter of fact, it has affected a lot of businesses, it's affected a lot of persons personal levels, business-wise and all of that, okay, because some people actually were using that for very reasonable things, yeah, to promote their businesses and all of those stuff. So a lift on it, on that ban, I think is reasonable, is good, okay. Maybe some measures would have been put in place to see how they control the use. I think that's, that's how to go about it, not banning it totally. Should have been that, okay, why? This thing is this way, let's put some measures in place to check how it's been used. That would have been a better action to take instead of banning it in the first place. Twitter ban. You know, when uh, Mr. President banned Twitter, I was amazed. It surprised me. This is an economy that has already crumbled. You imagine how many million people that showcase their business in Twitter. When you ban Twitter, which means you are stopping them to pay their tax to the government. So Twitter ban is totally wrong, restoring it is peace.